Hello there, Scorpio. Thank you for stopping by for your weekly video tarot forecast for the week of March 30th to April 5th. And I am using the Russian tarot of St. Petersburg once again. I'm a little frustrated because I just had this video complete and I accidentally bumped the keyboard with my foot because I had it sitting on the floor and killed it. I was up to Saturday and I killed it. <laughs> so I'm re-recording now. So I don't know, is Mercury retrograde? That would be a perfect Mercury retrograde example if it is. So let's see what we have coming up on Monday is we have the Six of Clubs in Reverse. The six of Clubs in Reverse just tells us that we are working on a project on Monday and this project is not only beneficial to ourselves but when we get it completed it will be beneficial to several other people as well. Many, many other people as well in most cases. And so um, I'm not seeing that it's completed on Monday but I am seeing that um, we're spending a significant amount of time working on it on Monday, fellow Scorpios. Now, Tuesday, what we have coming up, Scorpio, is we have the Moon in Reverse. The Moon in Reverse is like the Truth card. It is like truth in capital letters. You know, we are the detectives of the universe, so we're pretty good at digging that truth out most of the time anyway. But what I'm seeing on Tuesday is that there has been a situation in our lives where we knew there was more going on than what we were being told before. We had enough details to know that there just had to be more there but not enough details to really figure out exactly what else is there. So what happens on Tuesday, since we have the moon card in reverse, what happens is it's like somebody takes this huge spotlight right there on that situation. Now all the pieces are falling into the puzzle spots. We are figuring this all out. All that truth is like right there in front of us. Really, there's nothing to figure out. It's in our faces. And so that's a really cool thing on Tuesday. Whenever this card shows up, this card really says that, hey, you know what? Um, there are There's some information coming out that is going to impact your perspective on a particular situation or decision that you're making. So this is going to be significant. So yay, the truth shall make you free. I'm loving it, loving it. may not be easy truth to hear. Please don't get me confused. It might not be easy to hear. But once we know the truth, we can definitely move forward more productively, eh? As my Canadian friends would say, eh? <laughs> okay, so Wednesday, we have the Five of Coins in reverse. Five of Coins in reverse, what I'm sensing off of this card for us today, Scorpios, is that this is a time for us to loosen the belt. You've all probably heard about tightening the belt up. When times get tough, we have to tighten the belt. It kind of goes back to, oh, you're losing weight. You're not eating as good because things aren't as going as well as you had hoped. Well, this is loosening the belt. So this is telling me that on Wednesday something is happening to you financially that is um, allowing you a little bit more breathing space than usual in your budget. Okay? And then on Thursday what we have coming up is we have the Nine of Clubs. Now the Nine of Clubs just talks about a project that we've been working on probably for a little while now and that project has come to completion. It has served its purpose. It's done what we need it to do and so now it's just time to tie up the loose ends and get that project kind of put back away, tidied up and put away and put on the back burner so that we have room to bring in the next project and that's what I see us doing on Thursday, tying up all those loose ends, making it neat and tidy and putting it away. Okay? And then Friday we have another really good card. We have the lovers. Excuse me a second. <coughs> <coughs> I apologize. I haven't really figured out how to edit these videos, which means you poor people are stuck with me coughing on them. I'm so sorry. Um, if somebody would like to call me and give me a tutorial, I would love that. Okay, so we have the lovers showing up on Friday. And the lovers is really just talking about a relationship going very, very well. So maybe some really nice time with somebody that you're in relationship with. Now remember, the lovers can talk about romantic relationships, and most times it does. But that is not a hard and fast rule. Lovers is an emotions card, so it can talk also about family relationships, friendships, about... Um, business partnerships. It's a good card no matter how you slice it. Any old way you look at it, you've got a relationship that is going very, very well on Friday. Okay? So Saturday what we have going on is we have the Nine of Coins in Reverse. And the Nine of Coins in Reverse is just telling me that on Saturday we're kind of looking around at our lifestyle and how our life is going and we're kind of feeling like, hmm, there are some things that we want to adjust here. 
There are some there are some changes that we need to make. And so that's what we're actually working on on Saturday. We're working on making those changes. Sunday, what we have coming up is we have the Hermit in Reverse. And the Hermit in Reverse is just telling me that on Sunday, um, you are, I had this card come up for one other sign too. I want to see if it's coming up the same way for us or for a little different. <sighs> okay, so Sunday I feel like you're wanting to be social. You're wanting to be social. You're actually having some kind of alone time on Sunday and you're really wishing that you could be out and be social. And um, for some reason you're not feeling like you can quite do that just yet. I don't know if you're feeling like you're sick and you're contagious or... Um, you know, if the things that you want to do cost more money than is in your pocket or what's going on. But it looks to me like you want to be out there and be social, but for whatever reason, there's something limiting you and kind of holding you back on Sunday. And it may be even your own mind, your own thinking. So anyway, that is your week Scorpio. For those of you who would like to schedule a private session with me, feel free to check out my website. I'm at amista.info. That's A-M-I-S-T-A dot I-N-F-O. Once you're there and you've poked around a little bit, if you still feel like I'm the best person to work with, then go ahead and contact me and we will go ahead and set up a session for you as quickly as possible. And for everybody else, I'll see you all next week. Everyone have a great week. Peace out.